Hey admins, welcome to this month's edition of What's New for G Suite Admins. Rory here, and I'm back with the feature updates from October. Let's get started. Here's the headline news from October. We're making the Alert Center for G Suite generally available. The Alert Center provides a single comprehensive view of essential security-related notifications, alerts, and actions across G Suite. It was previously available in beta, and now it can help all G Suite organizations detect threats and take action to mitigate them. The Unify view will help you manage alerts more efficiently and provide insights to assess your organization's security issues, such as alerts for account warnings, Gmail phishing and malware, and device management. For every alert, we include articles to help you learn more about the alert type. We also include links, where relevant, to help you take actions to remedy the threat. Links to these resources are accessible from the alert detail page within the admin console. In addition, G Suite Enterprise Edition domains can use the G Suite Security Center for integrated remediation of issues surfaced by alerts. To learn more, check out the Help Center. And now for our admin updates. In August, we launched the option to receive a security alert if we believe your users are being targeted by a government-backed attack. To ensure that you receive this critical information, these alerts will now be on by default. You'll still have the option to turn these alerts off in the admin console by navigating to Reports, Manage Alerts, Government-backed attack warning, or you can simply opt out anytime you receive an alert email. We're making it easier to view and obtain critical information about the mobile devices your organization manages with our updated mobile device list in the admin console. This list is located at Device Management Mobile Devices. The mobile device list now shows all assigned mobile devices for both company-owned and personal in one view. With the updated mobile device list, you can filter by several categories like username and save the URL to apply the same filters later. Download selected columns, export them to Google Sheets, and view the progress of that task, and take action on multiple devices at once and directly from the device details page. You can also take some of the following actions when you click on the specific mobile device in the list. Block, wipe, or delete the device or account, see all of the apps installed on that device and identify those that may be harmful, email the device's user directly, and learn if a device isn't compliant and why. Check out the Help Center to learn more. We're giving admins additional capabilities to protect the data on their users' mobile devices for domains with Google Mobile Management enabled. You can now remotely reset the password on a company-owned Android device or lock the device entirely. These functions can only be used in domains that have advanced mobile management enabled. For example, if a user forgets their device password, you may want to reset it for them. Or, if a user loses their device, you may want to lock it until it's found. This will force users to enter the device's password before using it. Check out the Help Center for more info. We're moving Jamboard fleet management and administration into the admin console under Device Management Jamboards. You can now manage your Jamboards, along with your users and other devices, all in one place. This replaces the Jamboard Admin Console, but all of its functionality to provision, deprovision, and see device health is still available. We've also added some new features, like filtering for improved searching, pagination, and a refresh button. Visit the Help Center for more on managing Jamboards in the Admin Console. We're also adding new Jamboard logs to the Admin Console. These logs will give you better visibility into the status of your Jamboards and what actions have been taken on them. Logs will be displayed with simple descriptions, and admins will be able to search within and filter these logs to quickly see important information about the status of their Jamboards. This information can help you pinpoint and fix Jamboard issues, like diagnosing issues, for example, so you can narrow down and fix the possible cause of a connectivity issue quickly. Or save time, for example, by narrowing down issues and tracking admin actions to avoid duplicating any steps that have already been tried. See our Help Center for more info. You can now whitelist specific bots for Hangouts Chat, 
for your organization. Bots provide a conversational way for you to connect to services in chat, such as looking up information, scheduling meetings, and performing tasks. In addition to the option in the admin console to turn bots on or off for your domain, you can now enable specific third-party bots individually in the G Suite Marketplace settings to have more granularity over which third-party bots your users can interact with in chat. For more information, check out the Help Center. You can use the Room Insights dashboard in the admin console to better understand how meeting resources are being used in your organization. Now, you can export the raw data for your selected rooms and time frame from the dashboard to further analyze. The downloaded file will include data on how your meeting rooms are used, like total hours the room was booked or average occupancy rate, just to name a few. To find out more about how your meeting rooms are being used, check out the Help Center. We're adding auto-provisioning support for two new apps this month, Bonusly and Clipfolio. When auto-provisioning is enabled for a supported third-party app, any users created, modified, or deleted in G Suite are then automatically added, edited, or deleted in the third-party app also. For more information on how to set up auto-provisioning, check out the Help Center. Well, that's it for October's updates. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Save the playlists and also check out our G Suite release calendar and What's New newsletter to stay informed. This has been Rory with What's New for G Suite Admins, October edition. Thanks for watching.